last talk this morning before um, going off on the excursion. Uh, in past years, we had at least the last maybe six or so of the, uh, these events. Uh, I organized a bunch of people who uh, designed sculptures of some sort that you could all help build that remain permanently at Tom's site. Um, this year, we're no longer at uh, Tom's house. Uh, we're at Scott Hudson's house, and uh, we're going to do things slightly differently. We've brought over the sculptures from the past, or most of them, and set them up sort of temporarily. Uh, what we want to build this year is not big permanent things, uh, but we have, I have um, about a dozen different things planned for you uh, that are either smaller or that are portable that you can build and take home. So you'll have some mathematical hands-on constructions of different sorts. Um, I'll just quickly go through a list of these just to give you a flavor of things that you might look for so that you can participate in some if you want. Um, I'm not going to have all the, the different uh, sort of activity leaders uh, come up and speak because it would take too long, but most of them are in the room, and I'll ask them to maybe stand up uh, as I go through a picture of what they're going to do and a picture of them. So for each activity, I have two pictures. One is more or less what you might do, and the other is the person that you should look for. Uh, they'll be set up at different tables uh, somewhere around the back or the side of the house. Um, I don't know exactly how the space will be set up. Uh, but I'm going to go through this list, and then I'll show this again at the end so you can jot down any that you're looking for. Uh, so Dick Esterly um, is going to design, uh, he's designed something. This is sort of if you wanted to walk into Home Depot and come out right away with an instant sculpture kit, uh, you could get this uh, metal angle bracket stuff and cable ties, and it's some sort of icosahedron that's stellated, I understand. Uh, is Dick here? So, is Dick Esterly in the room? Oh, okay, he's probably over there at the site setting things up, but don't worry, if you don't know what he looks like, he looks like uh, that person in the back there. Um, the second activity is Gwen Fisher. She talked about this uh, yesterday, taking this traditional idea of, of making felt things, becoming mad as a hatter making uh, felt, uh, but applying it to topological surfaces. And is Gwen in the room? I'm doing really well here. Yes? Okay, so there's Gwen. Look at what Gwen looks like. She doesn't always look like the screen. Um, but anyway, so find Gwen, and uh, she'll have a table set up in Val's felt and water, and um, you can make a Mobius strip or a ciphered surface or a whole bunch of different things. Uh, the third activity, uh, Chaim Goodwin Strauss and Eugene Sargent are, have designed uh, a fairly big thing made out of plumbing supplies. Uh, it's called 96 cells. Uh, it's a compound of two compounds of three 16 cells uh, in uh, different three different colors of plumbing stuff, um, and they look like this. And if you can stand up, if you're in the room, I'm not, over here, so uh, you can look for uh, Kayim and Eugene uh, somewhere at a table uh, to build your uh, three-dimensional uh, shadow of that four-dimensional object. Uh, Edmund Harris, uh, he actually has two different tables. Um, with Alex Bellows, he made this coloring book that they talked about earlier. I don't have a picture of that, but that there'll be uh, pages from that and color pencils if you want to uh, color some of those in. Uh, and Edmund will also be doing a paper construction as shown here. Um, there'll be polygons or it's sort of twisted things based on polygons of different N. You can combine them different ways. There's some icosahedral ones here and you can uh, experiment with different things. Uh, Edmund looks like that. And if you're in the room, maybe you could stand up. There's Edmund over there. Look for him and his table. Um, next, uh, oh, me. So I look like this. Um, there will be uh, a wooden sculpture, uh, laser cut pieces that go together with cable ties. It looks something like that, uh, 60 identical pieces. Um, it's actually a prototype of a large sculpture I just installed in Kansas last week, uh, six feet diameter of um, stainless steel. Uh, so you can find me to help build this wooden version of that. Um, Andrea Hawksley is going to make a Sierpinski tetrahedron out of elastic hairbands. It's actually the next order up from this, so four times that many uh, pieces. Uh, she's done incredible things, 120 cells and other objects out of uh, hairbands. And Andrea looks like this. Are you in the room, Andrea? Yes, so if you stand up, you'll, people can see uh, what Andrea looks like. You can find her and her table. And you can also look for all these people on the bus or whenever if you want to chat about exactly what it is. Um, here's an object that you can build and take home. Uh, Akio Huzume, who has a table of cool things out in the lobby there, um, has paper templates to make a Fibonacci windmill. You cut, uh, we have knives, and you, you cut slots along the lines in his template and bend it just the right way. And this makes a very delicate thing with the kind of a phyllotaxis pattern. And Akio is over there. 
There's Akio, as you can find him. He's got one right over there, and it, it twirls and whirls, as you can see. Um, next, uh, Jarn Jespersen um, has designed a sculpture. This is a wooden thing uh, that is sort of based on a tetrahedron, but the pieces kind of go through each other in a, an intricate kind of knot. Um, and he looks something like this. Uh, if he, and he's over there, you can see, uh, Jorn Jespersen. So you can help put that together. I think it involves glue and clamps and stuff. Uh, and that'll be a, a sculpture that'll remain in the Martin Gardner collection here. Um, James Lee, this is his first time here. And he contacted me. And he wanted to make a Menger sponge uh, out of what are called OmniFix cubes. So these are some plastic toy. I've never actually played with this. But I want to go see what else you can make with these. Um, but James Lee is the, uh, the smaller of the two people here. And is James, yes, James is back there in the room. So you can find James and uh, learn how to put these cubes together. How to, you, I think you build them first from flat, from what I can see on the web page. Um, and say hi and welcome James to his first G4G. Um, and at the end of the alphabet, uh, we have two zone tool activities. Um, so the first one is just sort of open-ended play zone fun. You can make whatever you like. There'll be a pile of zone tool. Um, so these are just examples, but you can make uh, what it is that you want. Uh, Mike Stranahan, uh, who looks like that when he's wearing his own hat and is standing over there. The person with the zone tool hat, um, find him and his table. And last but not least, last but not least is another zone tool activity. Uh, Scott Vorthman gave a talk yesterday on this rhomba foam and different variations on it of sort of a packing of 14-sided uh, and 12-sided objects. Um, and he's going to be making kind of a structured uh, construction, and uh, Scott looks like that, and Scott is over here. Okay, so I'm just going to end by leaving this up, and if there's any of these you want to take notes, you can write down what it is or look for them. Um, I'm not going to take questions because I don't know the answer to anything except someone's going to tell us that there are buses soon that'll take you to the site where you can do all these. Thank you.